William Saliba is currently living the dream of all young footballers. At just 21, he's broken into the first team of a big club like Arsenal and is looking set to play for his country at the World Cup later this year. As we said, he is living the dream, but you know that already. So in this video, we'll tell you some things you probably didn't know about him. So here are seven things you didn't know about Saliba and we do hope you enjoy it. Number one, he was close to Mbappe while growing up. Did you know that Saliba and Mbappe share a whole lot in common? Of course, they both grew up in France and played for the national team, but did you know they actually grew up in the same parts of France and even attended the same school? Yep, that's true. But what's most impressive is that Mbappe's father was Saliba's coach at some point at the AS Bondi Academy. As a matter of fact, it was Mbappe's dad who even enrolled Saliba at the academy. And that's the same academy where Kylian Mbappe was enrolled, by the way. So you see, they didn't just share a nationality, an academy and a school, they also shared a coach, so it's really no surprise that he is called the Mbappe of centre-backs. Number two, he has mixed nationality. Let's take a guess. You thought both of Saliba's parents were French, right? Well, the truth is, that's not true. In fact, it may shock you to know that none of his parents are actually French. That's right. He was born in France and both parents lived there, but his father was actually Lebanese and his mother a Cameroonian. Now, you're probably wondering why we're we referring to his parents in the past tense. Well, that's because he lost both of them as a teenager. Pretty sad stuff for the young man, and it's a good thing he found a way to recover from it. Number three, it took him years to make his debut for Arsenal. Make no mistake about it, when Arsenal signed Saliba in 2019, he was seen as a very gifted teenager. No, actually, he was seen as one of the best teenage centre-backs. This earned him the tag of the Mbappe of centre-backs. Unfortunately, Arsenal didn't seem to think he was that good, so they sent him out on loan every season for three years without handing him his debut. And you want to know what's funny? Every time he was sent out on loan, he impressed at the club, and each time he returned, they would send him out on another loan. Well, until this year, when they finally decided to keep him at Arsenal. So at the start of the season, he finally made his competitive debut for the club, and so far, he's arguably been their best defender this season. Number four, he is an Arsenal fan. You know how it took Saliba about three years to make his first team debut for Arsenal? Well, many young players wouldn't have been that patient, and we think that that level of patience and loyalty to a club can only come when you love them. You know, the type of love you have for a club you've supported since childhood. Yes, you heard right, Saliba is an Arsenal fan and has been an Arsenal fan for virtually all of his life. He even has pictures of him in an Arsenal shirt as a kid. Now, if that doesn't show you how much he loves the club, then we don't know what would. And you can bet that if you ask him why he started supporting Arsenal, you would probably hear the names of Thierry Henry and Arsene Wenger. Seriously, those two are responsible for dozens of footballers supporting Arsenal. Even though they've left Arsenal, they still seem to pull players to the club. Number five, he wasn't always a defender. Surely you've seen Saliba play, and if you haven't, then perhaps you've seen his stats. Either way, you've probably noticed that he's not just a great and composed centre-back, he is also pretty impressive on the ball. This reflects on the accuracy of his passing and even more in the accuracy of his take-ons. So when you put this into consideration, then it shouldn't surprise you to know that he was once an attacker. That's right, he was. However, it seems he wasn't good enough in that position, and over time, he had to move further back on the pitch into midfield before eventually settling as a centre-back. Well, it's a good thing that he had to experience life as a forward, because he might just turn out to be one of the best ball-playing defenders of his generation. Number six, he once had a sex scandal. When you hear people speak about Saliba, it's usually about great stuff like his ability, his attitude, and his commitment. But he hasn't always been in the news for good reasons. Unfortunately, he once got punished after a video emerged on the internet, and let's say it wasn't a very good one. Because in that video, he was filmed in a locker room where a teammate in his youth team was mm, masturbating. Whoops, yeah, that stuff. Of course, this violated the rules of the French Football Federation, so they slapped him with a ban. Luckily for him, it was a suspended one and he was still allowed to play. Hopefully he stays away from such scandals, especially now that he plays in England, because, well, the English media aren't very forgiving and would probably tear him apart if it happened again. Number seven, he was once given an ovation after an error. You see, major errors are pretty common in football and sometimes when players make these mistakes, they can cost their team. Saliba has also had his share of such mistakes and the most recent one happened in his first home game for Arsenal against Leicester. In the second half of that game and with Arsenal 2-0 up and in full control, Saliba scored an own goal. Now, for most other players, this would make the fans very unhappy, but not Saliba, because he is in fact a special player. So when he scored that own goal, rather than boo him or go quiet, the Arsenal fans began to applaud and sing 
chance for him. Really, it was beautiful to watch and this seemed to boost his confidence because in the next game, he went on to score an absolute pearl of a goal and this time for his team. Guess it's true what they say, this guy may be very special after all. But that's just what we think, what do you think? Do let us know in the comments section. Also, do give the video a thumbs up. And for more cool videos like this one, do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. While we hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.